Lesson 1. Analysis Services Introduction Part 4. Creating Data Warehouse Creating an Analysis Services Project On the File menu, point to New and then select Project. Select the Business Intelligence Projects and choose the Analysis Services Project Template. Name your project. The text in the Solution Name box changes automatically to match the project name. If you want select Create Directory for Solution and change the Solution Name. Click OK to create the project. Creating a data source In Solution Explorer, right-click the Data Sources folder and select New Data Source. The Data Source Wizard appears. On the Welcome page, click Next. On the Select How to Define the Connection page, click the New button. Choose Provider, Microsoft OLADB Provider for SQL Server and type a server name. Then choose, Use SQL Server Authentication and type Login and Password. Select, Save My Password. Choose Database and click Test Connection. Click OK in dialog box with the message Test Connection Succeeded. Click OK to close the Connection Manager dialog box. In the Data Source Wizard, on the Select How to Define the Connection page, click Next. On the Impersonation Information page, select Use the Service Account and click Next. Type Data Source Name and click Finish to complete the wizard. Creating a Data Source View In Solution Explorer, right-click the Data Source Views folder and select New Data Source View. On the Welcome page, click Next. On the Select a Data Source page, click Next. Select Tables and then click Add Related Tables. Click Next. Accept the default name and click Finish. The Data Source View Designer appears, displaying the tables you selected. Creating a Customer's Dimension In Solution Explorer, right-click the Dimensions folder and select New Dimension. On the Welcome to the Dimension Wizard page, click Next. Verify that Use an Existing Table is selected and click Next. Select Customers from the Main Table list. Select Surname from the Name column list and then click Next. Verify that the Cities and Countries tables are selected and click Next. From the Available Attributes list, select All Attributes and click Next. On the Completing the Wizard page, Type Dimension Name and click Finish. Drag the Country Attribute from the Attributes pane and drop to Hierarchies pane. Drag the City and Cust Identifier Attribute from the Attributes pane and drop it on New Level. In the Hierarchies pane, right-click the New Hierarchy header and select Rename. Type Country Customers Hierarchy and press Enter.
in Object Explorer. Right click the customer's dimension and select process. Then click yes. In the process dimension dialog box, click run. In the process progress dialog box, click close. Now that the customer's dimension has been builded, then click close. You can preview the dimension, click browser tab. Creating a Salzman Dimension Creating a car's dimension. Create second hierarchy, country, city, company, car, model. Creating a time dimension
select generate a timetable on the server option and click next. Select year, quarter, month and date. Choose date range and click next. Creating a cube. In Solution Explorer, right click the cubes folder and select new cube. On the welcome to the cube wizard page, click next. Verify that use existing tables is selected and click next. In the measure group tables list, select the transactions facts table and click next. On the select existing dimensions page, Verify that the all dimensions are selected. Click next. On the completing the wizard page, type the name of the cube and click finish. In the dimensions, right click and select add cube dimension. Then select time and click OK. In the cube designer, click the dimension usage tab. Choose regular type. Create the relationship between date column and sales date column and click OK. In Solution Explorer, right click the car transactions cube and select process cube. Click yes. Click Run to Process Cube. Click Close and select Browser tab to preview cube. Do you want to learn new skills in the fastest and most effective way? Visit Learn with Video Tutorials.com